To sequence a segment of DNA, researchers mix together many copies of the DNA to be sequenced with DNA polymerase, standard nucleotides, and modified nucleotides. Each modified nucleotide stops DNA synthesis when it is added to a growing DNA strand. Each also is labeled with a molecule that fluoresces a certain color when it passes through a laser beam. The DNA is separated into single strands and the reactions begin. To keep things simple, we will show just one of the two DNA strands. DNA polymerase catalyzes the addition of complementary bases one by one. Each time, one of the standard nucleotides, or one of the modified versions, may be attached. When a standard nucleotide is added, replication proceeds. When a modified version is attached, replication halts. When the process ends, the mixture contains millions of copies of tagged fragments of different lengths. The automated DNA sequencer uses gel electrophoresis to separate sets of fragments. DNA fragments move off the gel in order of their size, smallest to largest, and pass through a laser beam. As a fragment passes through the laser, the labeled nucleotide at the end of the fragment fluoresces a particular color. This color is detected by the sequencer and recorded in a printout.